Welcome to Nuclear Learning, an online initiative produced by the Simpson Center to facilitate the study of nuclear competition and dangers in South Asia. Our first open online course, Nuclear South Asia, is available free of charge at nuclearlearning.org. In this video, we speak with Oriana Schuyler Mastro, an assistant professor of security studies at the M&A Walsh School of Foreign Service at Georgetown University and a Jean Kirkpatrick Scholar at the American Enterprise Institute. We discuss China's tendency to downplay India's military modernization. I think scholars across the board have assessed that China does downgrade Indian military capabilities. This question of why they do that, there are a lot of different theories. The conventional wisdom is that maybe China doesn't recognize the fact that India's military is modernizing or doesn't see the Indian military as a threat. In my own research, I have shown that these explanations uh, are not very uh, satisfying because the Chinese media does focus a lot on how that military is growing and what it means for China. Um, I argue that actually regime legitimacy plays a large role in why China downplays Indian military activities. The short argument of it is that for China to admit to their domestic public that the Indian military is modernizing uh, successfully suggests that a country can do so with a democratic political system, an idea that the Communist Party has told their people is not possible. And so by admitting that the Indian military is doing well, that might cause some threats to the party internally and that the party seems to weigh those threats over the external threat that the Indian military might pose. If you enjoyed this video, please remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel and visit nuclearlearning.org to enroll in Nuclear South Asia.